Hello, today Apache. Let's jump straight in the deep end. Start yes. Open software management. And as a search phrase, we're going to write yast. Now we're going to look through the list. We're looking for yast HTTP server. So down, 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 down. Yast HTTP server. We select it and we go to accept. And now we wait. It's done, we quit yast and we enter it again. Now network services has HTTP server. We installed the yast module, but we didn't install Apache itself. So we have the configuration tool, we don't have the server itself. So we say install. Yeah, install. And we wait some more. It's actually now asking us to configure the web server itself. So we are going to use port 80. We want to listen to all interfaces and we're going to automatically allow it to open the port in the firewall. Remember the whole SSH port opening thing? Well, this time it's going to work automatically since we are using the default port. Next. Now we're going to need just PHP 5 for WordPress. I'm going to enable Python just to play around with it, but you don't need it. Next. Uh -huh. Now here we can enter some configurations like server name. Mm, I'm not sure what the server name should be. So we can leave it like that. We're actually. Yeah, why not? We're going to make a virtual host later. So we leave everything as it is and we go to next. Uh, we don't have any virtual hosts to add today. Thank you. Next. Start Apache server when booting. It's going to be a web server and yeah, it's going to start Apache together with the system. So when the system is on, Apache is on. We go to finish. And since we don't have Python or PHP installed, it asks to install them. So it's auto magical. Install and we wait. Okay, now this error is unresolved dependencies, which need to be solved manually. So we say okay, and what's the problem? Problems, Apache 2 mod Python something something something, but this requirement cannot be provided. Uninstallable providers, updates for OpenSUSE, aha, uh -huh. now since we made a minimal text based installation, we currently have patterns OpenSUSE minimal base installed. So we're going to remove it and we're going to try again. Okay, it's telling us what it's going to install. It's going to install a whole bunch of stuff, except, and it's telling us the same thing all over again. So, yeah, SQLite 2. I don't know, this was here. Okay, and we wait some more.
Okay. And we should be done. Uh, we can quit the AST. Now, in order to test out our web server, we need a browser. So we're going to write zipper. Zipper with double P. Yeah. In for install. And we are, want the links package. Zipper install links. Somebody should really comment on some of my videos someday to tell me if you can read anything at all through this transparent terminal window with the icons in the back and everything. Four new packages to install. Okay. We give it yes and we wait. And done. Now we start links. Okay. Welcome to links. Okay. Uh, we press escape to get at the menu up here. And we use the arrows to move around. Go to URL. U URL. URL. And we want to go to local host. Okay, it doesn't know what I mean by localhost. We press G and we go to HTTP localhost. And this is it. You don't have permission to access the requested directory. There is either no index document or this is exactly what we wanted to see. Press escape again and we exit. Now this isn't quite perfect, so we're going to make Yeah, we're going to make an index file now. We write nano SRV www mm, HT docs. Yeah. Nano server www htdocs and we want to make an index.php file it's going to be a very simple php script that's going to say just that's not p php and it's going to be php info like that it's a one line page, so we control O to write, wrote one line, and we exit. Now we open links again, we go to G, HTTP, forward slash local host, and enter. And PHP is probably working. Well, Man can't live on terminal alone, so let's open this in a normal browser. As I said earlier, but I probably cut this out, so uh, we don't know what IP address we have to access the system from the outside. We are currently opening the web page from the web server itself. So if we if config, we can see that the bridged adapter we made in the last episode has had has have received the this IP address. It's 192.168.17. So we can try to open that. Let's try yeah, Chromium. We can try no chance. <laughs> yeah. Did I call it like that? Is it something else? One seven. And we have PHP version, Apache handler, system Linux Visus four one nine. I think this is the version of the kernel. At least it should be. 
loaded configuration file. PHP info is a well this is what it is. It basically outs outputs the current state of the server and PHP. So there. We have Apache installed and running. We have Apache passing through the firewall. All set up to work, waiting for content, and we have a simple PHP page showing us everything we need to know about our current PHP deployment. So awesome. If you like this video and you're not too busy, why not rate, share, or subscribe? If you don't like it, constructive criticism is always welcome in the comment section.